Recently, I just got this amazing plugin for DaVinci Resolve. It takes your video footage and gives it that old film look. This plugin is Dehancer Pro. It is a film emulator. I can't go on enough about how amazing this is because I'm not a color specialist. And in order to get that film look, all of the different effects is impossible unless you are really just a color specialist and know how to create these 40 to 50 different nodes in order to get that film look. But with Dehancer Pro, it is so simple to use with just a little bit of practice and a little bit of knowledge, you can be dangerous using it. I love it. I can't say enough about it. Just a quick disclaimer, Dehancer did send this to me for free, but they don't have any say in this video and they will not see this video before I publish it. When you decide after watching this video and see how easy it is and what it does to your footage, make sure to check out down below because Dehancer did give me a discount code to pass on to you. That way you get an additional 10% off. There are so many different features. It would be such a long video if we really dove into every aspect of it, but we're gonna have a quick review. That way, when you walk away from this video, you will feel confident enough to use it. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at some of the features. One of the very first things you're going to want to do now that you have Dehancer Pro installed on your computer is go ahead and drop it on your node. And you'll notice right away once you've done that here in your film and your profile, it just chooses like Kodak Vision 3. But if you notice here, you have so many different choices. So go ahead and spend some time in this clicking on some ones and choose one that you want to emulate whatever film you would like to play around with that for a while. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one here and get a little old timey look. On your print here, you have your total contrast. So there's your total contrast of your image, the color density and the saturation. It's all very self explanatory. And then your exposure. And then your color head, it's the same over here on your color wheels. If you gang them, that's going to gang them all together. And then you can change them all at the same time. And then your preserve exposure, well, that preserves your exposure. It's automatically set to 100. And then this is the impact, how much impact it's going to have. And it'll adjust that whole image of how much you really want to mess with it. I'll reset those back. I like that overall look. Reset the impact. And film grain. Film grain works a lot differently than the film grain that's in Resolve itself. DaVinci Resolve takes film grain and it just overlays film grain on it. It doesn't really give it that natural look. But here in Dehancer, it uses the information that's in the image and really just embeds it in it. So it's a whole different way. It gives it a very natural look. So go ahead and you can mess around with that. And right away, you see the size. What is that? Well, duh, it's the size of the film grain. How big do you want it to be? The amount, how much film grain do you want? And then film resolution, the way it's explained on their website is that it's based upon the camera and the lens that it's using. So when you push it down, it's the lower quality camera. 50% is what it's based at. So that is based off of a cinema camera with a good lens. And if you push it all the resolution all the way up, you'll notice that the film grain lessens quite a bit. So determine how much film grain you want your image to have. You get into shadows, midtones, and highlights, and it does exactly that. How much film grain do you want in the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows? And then chroma, what this does is adjust the color on the film grain itself. So as you push it down, it's going to be less color on the film grain or more color on the film grain itself. Let's go ahead and just zoom in a little. You'll notice the colors changing for chroma. 
Maybe a little less. Pushed all the way down and then pushed all the way up. It's really hard to see, but it's changing the color of the film grain itself. Right away, you notice just with a few different adjustments, you've taken something that you've shot and really just changed it. Here you have a very beautiful crisp color using that Rec 709 LUT. Now just with a few adjustments, bam, right away an old time look. Let's go ahead and take a look at now halation. So I'm gonna drop in a different clip for that where it really magnifies on fire. So go ahead and grab your dehancer, go down to halation and enable and halation, what this is, is it's mimicking some of the old film that they would use that had the red in it. So it gives you sort of that red glow, especially you'll see it on lights and headlights as well. And what I'll do is I'll put it on mask mode so it'll give you a really good idea of the affected areas. And then now go to your local diffusion and push that up and you'll see that affected area there. Now it's pushed all the way up. Now take the mask mode off, and let's see if you can see the difference on and off. Notice that right away, the halation changes. And then you can mess around with amplify as well as hue. There's your color temperature. And something that really goes well with halation is bloom. Now let's take a look at the bloom effect. I'm going to turn halation off, that way we can just focus on the bloom. First thing I'll do again is let's turn on mask mode and let's see what is really being affected. And let's slide up our diffusion. You can see that affected area there of the fire. And then the amplify, you can really amplify it, push it up there, and saturate it. Let's turn mask off and then there it is with it off. There it is on and then we'll turn halation back on. They go together quite well. So there's halation and bloom together. Now let's scroll down. Vignette, that adds a vignette around your image. We're not really gonna jump into that. What we're gonna do is let's take a look at film breath and gate weave together. For that, we have a different clip we'll take a look at, these trains here. Take and drop dehancer back on. I'll leave the color profile the way it is on that Kodak Vision. So the best way to understand film breath and gate weave together is like when film at an old theater is rolling through a projector. So let's go ahead and enable that and I'll show you a before and after of what they will do together. Let's push translation X and translation Y up and then your rotation up. So you notice the rotation changing there. And then the period is the frequency in which it does it. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you a before and after. So let's take a look at without film breath and gate weave, and then with gate weave and film breath combined. Now, if you decide that you want to try this for yourself, I'll leave a link down below for a free trial, and then you can check it out before purchasing it. And remember, if you want to purchase it, you get that 10% off code down below. So be sure and grab that before you do. If you do try this out, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Personally, again, I can't speak enough about it, how amazing it is and how easy it is to use. Later, emulator.